Um, the very first thing that I look for is the indicating factors of uh, someone who is honest and on it. It's one of our, really our two uh, non-negotiable or core values that we live by here at Yellow Telescope is everyone has to be honest, honest to a fault if necessary I'll take, um, and they've got to be on it, someone who is responsive. So when, uh, you, you can never know for sure if someone's honest and there's always a chance of being duped, which is why that high social IQ from an interviewer comes in, but certainly it is possible to get a general sense from someone in the way that they ask questions and the way that they answer questions that they're being forthright. Um, is their resume consistent? Does it look like they're obfuscating aspects of it? What dates they started and ended? How many jobs they had at one time? Uh, the reasoning that they left their positions. Uh, when they give answers, are they occasionally uh, making the mistake of not being a great interviewer? I think sometimes business owners only hire people who interview well, which means they have a skill or a talent for knowing what you want to hear. When really once in a while, and I have to, if I ask the question, what's something you don't think is a strength, they actually answer it. Uh, even if that individual maybe should have said, well, my biggest weakness is that I just work too hard sometimes, which just reeks of BS. It's sometimes nice to say, to be honest with you, I can be a little disorganized once in a while. I've really worked on it, and it's one of my major goals is to continue improving my organizational skills that I have over the last five years, and I believe I've made great progress. So I'm looking for honesty.